My next story is about a woman I'll call Mary. She was the daughter of faithful pioneer parents who had sacrificed much for the gospel. She had been married in the temple and was the mother of ten children. She was a talented woman who taught her children how to pray, to work hard, and to love each other. She paid her tithing, and the family rode to the church together on Sunday in their wagon. Though she knew it was contrary to the word of wisdom, she developed the habit of drinking coffee and kept a coffee pot on the back of her stove. She claimed that the Lord will not keep me out of heaven for a little cup of coffee. But because of that little cup of coffee, she could not qualify for Temple Recommend. And neither could those of her children who drank coffee with her. She lived to a good old age, and she did eventually qualify to re-enter and serve in the temple. But only one of her ten children had a worthy temple marriage, and a great number of her posterity, which is now in its fifth generation, live outside of the blessings of the restored gospel she believed in and her forefathers sacrificed so much for. That repentance isn't optional. We are commanded to repent. The Savior taught that unless we repent and become as a little child, we can in no wise inherit the kingdom of God. We must not let one little cup of coffee, one bad habit, one bad choice, one wrong decision derail us for a lifetime. 